When we ask for a show to be sent into BCB, we've got these technical specifications of the shows which you can see on our website. If you go to uh, Get Involved Volunteer Resources, it brings you to this page. And down here we've got technical specifications of the show. So people have asked us a couple of questions. So can you please send your show to us as MP3s with a sample rate of 44100 kilohertz and a bit rate of 16 bit? And then the next bit is speech levels peaking at 3 dB and music levels peaking at 5 dB. So I'm going to explain those things. So if you Google sample rate, it comes up with a few different things here. So if you want to find out a bit more about what sample rate and bit rate actually means, do a bit of Googling. And um, this is this is a good page. So I'll, I'll link to this later on. But if you're not bothered about the ins and outs, sample rate and bit rate is really just about the quality of the audio that gets sent through. And because we've got an old play out system, it's very specific about what it can play out. If we give it the wrong kind of thing, it can crash the whole system and it can take the studio off um, offline. If you send it to us an MP3, you don't have to worry too much because we will convert it and we will put it on the system. But if you've got it right at your end, it means a bit less checking for us. Um, and I'll take, I'll show you through that in a minute. So I've got an audacity here with some audio files in already. I think this is going to be a little bit hard to see, but just at the side here, if you can see where the mouse pointer is over on the left hand side, it says that this track at the top is stereo 48,000 hertz and 32 bit float. <coughs> so really, we want that to be 44.1 and 16. If we look at this next track down here, this is mono 44100 or 44.1 and 32 bit float. And down here we've got stereo 44100 and 32 bit float. In Audacity, you can change the project rate um, sample rate down here. So this is set at 48,000. And that's because the first track we brought in was at 48,000. So I can change that to 44,100. Sometimes we get tracks from people and they might be quite low, 1,600, something like that. So we have to just check when we open them up that they're 44,100. So that's the sample rate. In terms of the bit rate, we can't really change that. Um, within this program so but when we export it it will be fine um, I'll just show you how we would export so if I go to file and export now if we're going to put it on our playout system in the studio we need it to be WAV and at this point we get an option whereby we can do WAV Microsoft sign 16 bit so that's where we need to choose the 16 bit but there's also a 32 bit float so again, that's no good for us. That that would crash the system. But you're not going to send it to us in WAV. You're going to send it to us as an MP3 file. And at that point, we don't get any options as to whether it's 16-bit or not. So if your project rate is at 44,100 and you export it as an MP3, it's going to be good. Okay, so that's your sample rate and your bit rate. So just check that your project rate at the bottom is 40 down here is 44100 bottom left hand side there um, and export as mp3 and we should be good okay so the next bit is normalization so if we have a look at this track at the top here so I'll make bigger you could see that the audio goes all the way from like the top to the bottom of this screen we've got our left hand channel and our right hand channel and this is our decibel levels at the side from 0 up to 1. So we want this to be, this is a music track, so we want this to be normalised at minus 5. So if I double click on here, it selects all the track for me. I go to effect, normalise, and set this as minus 5. What it effectively do is it drops it down. So you can see how that's narrowed, kind of like the the wave the height of the waves there so that's minus five if I go to normalize at minus three it makes that a little bit bigger so you can see that's the difference between the minus three and the minus five and what just works for us really well is if when you're talking so if you get a bit of speech and you normalize it to minus three 
it won't overload the transmitter when it goes out and with your music at minus five the same thing so if you're recording a, so if you normalize your tracks before you record them that means they're going to be um, pretty good when you're back in the studio at BCB you're watching the needles flicker backwards and forwards to try to keep things between minus three and minus five um, so hopefully that gives you a better idea